everybody. Hope everyone's doing great. Uh, I'm kind of like just getting up, trying to clean up this mess of a hotel room. In case you missed yesterday, I'm here in Nantes, France. Uh, today is a day of no training as well. Uh, and I kind of go far away or do any kind of crazy trips. I kind of just need to come to a place to just have some like, quiet time, you know. I'm like in a hotel a little bit outside the center. It's been super quiet, which is just what I needed. Just to kind of recharge, restart my mind. But good thing did become accomplished. Got a new camera lens, which will definitely, definitely, well, hopefully change you guys' perspective on the vlog, because instead of seeing me with, with my face right here in the camera, now, a little bit of a change. There we go. Back to how I used to vlog with the Canon 70D with the wide angle lens. Changes changes a little bit of the perspective, you know, so you guys can see a little bit more around me where I am. Uh, so I was thinking about you guys getting this as well, and I know it's probably not cool to see my face just right in front of the camera all the time. So uh, on that note, gotta clean up this mess of a hotel room, and hopefully the weather's good outside and not raining, and we're gonna spend that. Wanna check out? C'est bon? Parfait. Au revoir. Merci. As you guys know, I normally like to stay in hostels. So whenever I do book a hotel, one thing that's really important to me is the checkout time. Because that when I'm staying in a hotel is to relax. And one thing I don't want to be worrying about is waking up early to check out. So checkout time was great here, but the room was freezing cold, which put the rating of that hotel to a 7 out of 10. But it's in a really quiet location by a bunch of little places to eat and cafes and bars uh, which today they're not open so we're gonna head more to the center fingers crossed it doesn't rain uh, so I can find a nice place to kind of chill and relax before I gotta head back to uh, Angers just trying to beat the rain Okay, this is this is like one of those times in the vlog where in the vlog it seems like I was in that coffee shop for I don't know five ten minutes it's been like two and a half hours uh, the Sun isn't out like I thought it would be but it's not raining so I'm just gonna try to walk around and uh, yeah see what I can find but there is no plan like yesterday absolutely no plan for today And one thing I really like about like cities here in Europe, uh, they have like so many little cool passageways where you have like all these like big buildings like this, but you have a little bit of a passageway. Usually there's like cool cheap shops in there as well, but if anything, it looks really, uh, really cool. So nice. I think in a place this you think it's like a museum kind of place or nice, but this is like there's shops in here, there's coffee shops, clothes shops. Just another passageway in Europe. But I guess one thing about like passageways like that is uh, when you get so caught up in walking in there, going up and down, you don't know where you come out the passageway, you don't know where you are. Oh, okay. No, I know I am. Yeah, this, this castle is super beautiful. I don't know if it's called a castle or a fortress, but super beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit... I lost my watch. It's a little bit early in the afternoon, uh, but one thing when it comes to 
getting away when, whether you're going on a dream vacation or whatever it is of course dream vacation the time is longer but there's always like a time a sweet spot where you don't want to overstay your time for example I'm here I can stay until the night it would be perfectly fine but that kind of takes me out of my sweet spot I feel like if I leave right now the middle of the afternoon mission accomplished brains free I'm thinking more clearly but there's always that sweet spot so on a dream vacation Maybe it's like two weeks, but after that time period, you never want to go over it. Just like a family vacation. It's great for a few days, but if you go over that sweet spot, things can get a little bit, uh, if, that if that makes, hope that makes sense to you guys. I've booked a train ticket. I'm actually leaving in about 20 minutes, heading back to Angers. From there, no idea if the sun is going to be out or not, but uh, at least it's not raining. <laughs> you know what I always find it funny in the vlog, how I can be standing outside of one outside of one train station in one city and just like that walking out of the train station in a city 45 minutes away but it's my city where I live here in Angers uh, but there's no sun but it's all good I like totally forgot I had my bike parked at the train station so now nice little cycle home totally forgot about that Okay, so I've been like at my house for about two, three hours, kind of just relaxing and just, yeah, just basically just relaxing. Uh, gonna head out and get some work done now. But one thing I was telling you guys about not overstaying your time, when I, earlier when I was saying when I was leaving Nantes, because you know, I like to arrive back, for example, tomorrow was a really big day, uh, two trainings and then also having a game the next day as well. So really just trying to go away, but not go away where you come, where I come back like totally drained of energy. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes when you're on vacation and after a little bit of time you've been in this place or you love the place after a while, you're like, I kind of need a vacation from this vacation. You know, you want to kind of cut the vacation short just before you get that feeling. That way, for example, I get back here, I still feel energized, I feel relaxed, I feel ready to go for tomorrow. Big day, but I'm not drained. Not like a, if I was traveling, like if I went to Barcelona or somewhere like that, I'd come back here. Great mentally, but physically a little bit tired. So you gotta always try to find that sweet spot. That sweet spot's the most important thing, I think, when it's coming to get away, getting time for yourself. Um, so on that note, uh, that's kind of my thought of the day, again, for you guys. Um, like I say, I gotta head out and get some work done now, so I will end the vlog here, telling all of you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please keep your Instagram messages coming. I've been talking to a lot of people on Instagram lately. It's awesome. That's a great way to get a hold of me, just so you guys know. So all of you all who are, reaching out to me on there thank you guys so much and i'll talk to all of you guys later um enjoy the rest of your day rest of your evening and i think that's all for today yeah that's all i'll talk to you all later and everyone guys always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile